pretty cool thing. It looks really good, too. Yeah, that's a better meal than I make uh, from home, so <laughs> it looks real, real good. Yeah, we'll have to see if uh, they have any leftovers. You're welcome to bring them by news stations. I will I will weigh in, yes, try it out. for sure. Yeah, all right, so speaking of school, kids headed to school in the morning, bundle up because we've got some rain back in the picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. This week, some pretty chilly temperatures. Yes, we sure do, especially by Thanksgiving morning. We are going to be tracking mountain snow, and then, of course, in the valley overnight tonight, the rain. So. A little bit of everything this week, and if you're doing some traveling, a lot of folks like to get out and visit family and friends for Thanksgiving. A lot of locations have to go through the elevations and uh, head into the mountains, and you might deal with some snow. We're already starting to see that wind pick on up and some snowfall through the Cascades. Temperatures right now at 27 degrees coming out of Mount Hood Meadows. Look at the radar. A couple thunderstorms out there for tonight. It's slowed down a little bit as far as the lightning goes, but still some pockets where there might be some heavier rain. Uh, through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. Expect there to be some patchy fog as well, and the roads might be a little wet too. This is going to be Tuesday's system that's going to develop right here and eventually bungee straight down towards the Pacific Northwest by the time we head into about Tuesday afternoon, and we'll get to that forecast here in just one second. How about our Monday, though? As I mentioned, we have the rain there on the radar. We're going to see that here in the valley. It's going to be in and out as we go through the course of the day, and we're going to have some snowy passes. Interstate 26 going through government camp uh, over towards 84 there likely if you're heading east from Pendleton down towards Baker City for the pass there. We'll keep an eye on all that coming into tomorrow and of course Kelly's here early in the morning. We have some cold air moving in as we go through the week and then the winds going to be increasing as we get to about Wednesday, Thursday and Friday running out of the east ushering in some cold winter air. OK, we have that winter storm warning now that's going to be in place. Uh, that was a winter storm watch originally. Look at that. It's been upgraded a bit and then a high wind watch because of that system that will be arriving as we go into Tuesday. What's occurring over the next few days is going to be those snow levels dropping. It's already about uh, 3000 feet for some locations now and that's going to continue to drop overnight into our Monday and then it's going to really bottom out by the time we hit to about midweek, which means if we have the moisture to pair with it, we're going to get some snowfall for some of these locations. Let me show you that moisture and what we have going on in the future cast through the overnight hours. Here comes some of that rain. It's going to be up and down the Willamette Valley, but potentially a rain shadow also setting up, which means we might have some dry time as well, but that won't slow down those uh, snowy events going on in the mountain for our early morning hours and heading into the afternoon. We'll keep some scattered showers heading into Tuesday. Here comes the system I was showing you up towards the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to be developing over the next 24 hours. That comes shooting down as we go into Tuesday morning. Where this low ends up hitting along the Oregon coast or maybe a little bit further south or potentially north could alter the forecast a bit. That's why it's important to have our weather app and kind of tune in over the next couple of days. Uh, but where these lines start to compress, the wind's going to increase and we can see wind gusts pushing some very strong uh, numbers there by Wednesday morning it kind of kicks off to the southeast. Notice we still have some snowfall for the high desert there by Thursday on Thanksgiving. We run out of moisture and we dry up, but it's going to be cold and it's going to be windy. Areas like government camp, they might pick up a lot of foot of snow by the time we get through Wednesday. Thanksgiving 40 degrees, chilly morning temperatures. If you're doing some football, doing some shopping on Friday, east breeze temperatures in the upper 30s. Emily. Okay, yeah, going to be one of those bundle up weeks for sure. Yeah, winter jackets, gloves, hats, and you know what? Get the skis ready. There you go. Thanks, yeah. Joseph. All right, I've done this before.